Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Tonight we're going to be making a super easy barbecue chicken, quinoa, and I believe sweet potato dinner. Um, mostly for meal prep. So if you're interested in seeing how this goes down, stay tuned. I'm starting out with my chicken freshly cleaned and washed. I just have it here in this dish pan. Um, make sure there's no water in the dish pan or else your seasoning is going to slide off the chicken <laughs> Just make sure your chicken is dried and it's clean and then we're gonna go in with a few basic seasonings I'm starting off with this rotisserie chicken seasoning. This is like a staple in my house Like we use it for almost everything, but it's great for chicken Then I'm going in with this Goya salad and vegetable seasoning as well as sea salt and what else are we putting in there we're putting some adobo in there of course um yeah and some i believe it's chicken bouillon seasoning yep chicken bouillon flavor seasoning as well just to give it some flavor and you can't forget your black pepper so we're just going to go ahead and add all our seasoning onto the chicken give it a good stir and we're going to add some I believe it was avocado oil but you can use any oil we're gonna add some oil to the chicken as well so that seasoning coats nicely on the chicken give it a good good give it a good stir I cannot speak today <laughs> give it a good stir and I'll be right back Girl, don't even worry about my beat up cooking pan. She is really old and she's on her last legs, all right? But <laughs> this is what we use it for today. So you're gonna put some oil on the, on the baking pan, right? Coat it nicely and then I'm going in with that rotisserie chicken seasoning right before I put my chicken on. I like to do that because I notice that when you bake chicken, it sort of loses some of its seasoning because the chicken has its own water. So I like to add a few seasonings to the base of the pan before I lay the chicken in and it'll just come out amazing. Trust me. This here is also a super extra step. You don't have to do it. I just learned this from my mom. Like whenever she's cooking, she'll always put like onions in it. Um, just for the smell. And I agree, it makes the chicken smell better. It makes the seafood smell better if you're making seafood as well. Onion just has a really good... I know we think onions smell bad, but like when you cook it, it makes the... the protein that you're making smell good or smell better so that's what i'm gonna do put some onions on the base of the pan as well and then i'm gonna lay my chicken on there and we're gonna put it right in the oven So 
now that we have our chicken all set um, baking in the oven, we're gonna go ahead with our quinoa and get started on that. This is the organic, I guess it's like a value brand or something. It doesn't matter what kind of quinoa you get, to my understanding, quinoa is good for you, period. Um, this is the tricolor quinoa and it tastes really good to me. So this is what we're using for tonight. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that, I'm gonna bring water to a boil, season the water a little bit and then go ahead and add my quinoa and let it cook just like rice would, but a little bit differently. So after I've mixed in that quinoa with the seasoned water um, and I'm letting it boil and sort of get hot on its own, I'm going to go to the side and start on the sautéed mushrooms and I believe it was spinach. Yeah, sautéed mushrooms and spinach. Um, so I'm just going to let that oil heat up just a little bit, add my mushrooms, add my spinach, of course season it just a little bit. Season to taste, you don't want to over season it or make it salty or anything. So we got our stove on low under the mushrooms, so they should be good for a while. We're gonna check up on the quinoa, and it looks like it's boiling for the most part. It still needs to, um, the water still needs to dry a little bit more and it needs to boil, so we're gonna cover that back up and go ahead and add our spinach to the mushrooms. Right, make sure you're checking up on that quinoa boo don't let it burn um, so basically it's all it's basically done for the most part the water's dried and I went ahead and tasted it a little bit and it was ready so you can see here I'm going back and forth <laughs> stirring my quinoa stirring the mushroom and spinach that's what you want to do so nothing burns but for now, let's go ahead and take our chicken out of the oven. It's been baking for about 30 minutes with the aluminum foil on. And what you want to do is you want to take off the aluminum foil and you'll see that it looks cooked, but it's not thoroughly cooked. And that's what we want. We only had it in there for 30 minutes now. It's not done. Do not eat the girl, girl. We just taken off the aluminum foil and then this is when we're going to add our barbecue sauce. Um, I don't know how other people cook it. I don't know how other people make barbecue chicken, whether if they, you know, add the barbecue sauce before they put it in, in the oven for the first time, but I like to bake the chicken for 30 minutes first and then bring it out and then put the barbecue sauce on. So that's what you're gonna see me do. And then I'm gonna pop it right back into the oven for about another 20 to 30 minutes and it'll be all set. So once that barbecue chicken is well coated um, with a barbecue sauce, you wanna go ahead and put it right back into the oven, but this time don't put the aluminum foil on it. Just let it cook by itself um, open, and that'll really help to make the exterior a bit more crisp, and it'll give it that nice brown color that we want. So now that our quinoa is done, we're adding a little bit more oil to it just for the texture, and then we're gonna go ahead and toss in that sauteed mushrooms and spinach as well and give that a good stir one of the reasons why i absolutely love quinoa is because it's a heart healthy alternative to rice and i'm west african sis so almost every meal has rice in it and if i'm trying to watch these curves girl can't be having rice every single day and so this is what we're opting for quinoa it's heart healthy it's good for the body and you can basically treat it like rice and add whatever you want in it so and I do understand that meal prepping can sort of be boring at times and so I'm adding a little bit of color with the corn um, that'll also help with the texture of the quinoa as well and I believe I put some paprika no girl that was not paprika that was hot pepper seasoning oh my god girl that was not paprika if you're like me and you love spice this is gonna be an amazing meal for you because you can add any type of seasoning you want. I just added a whole like, I don't even know how much pepper I added, but I added pepper 
and then I added the corn. <laughs> So now that the quinoa is all done, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the sweet potatoes. These are some pretty old sweet potatoes. I just needed to get rid of them real quick. Uh, but yeah, I just went ahead and washed them. And then I'm going to go ahead and pretty much stab them just so they have a way to a way to cook. Like if you stab your sweet potatoes, they cook better. So this is what I'm doing before I pop them into the oven. Now before we pop the sweet potatoes into the oven, we're gonna take out our barbecue chicken. Girl, this chicken done glazed up. Look at that color. Like, are you kidding me? The bottom looks like it's burnt, but I promise you it's not. We're just gonna go ahead and flip that chicken right over and you're gonna put barbecue sauce on the opposite side. We gotta make sure both sides are coated with barbecue sauce, chow. We are not playing around. Coat it well and then I think we're gonna toss it back into the oven, yeah. So while my chicken are in the oven for the last 10 minutes and the sweet potatoes are in there for the last, well not the last, but they're in there for a good 30 minutes or so, I'm going to go ahead and section out the quinoa. I'm going to portion the quinoa out into the bowls. My bowls aren't all uniform and I only um, meal prepped for four days, but do what you like, do what you want. I'm just starting out with meal prep and so nothing's perfect, but this is, this is how I do it. Um, I'm portioning out the quinoa and I'm putting a lot of quinoa in each bowl only because you know it's a slim thick it's a slim thick um, <laughs> it's a slim thick recipe um, quinoa is like I said before a great alternative to rice and it's heart healthy as well so I like to eat a lot of that to maintain to maintain my weight um, especially when I'm working out and so I like to have a lot of quinoa and then I'll have some chicken and obviously the sweet potatoes on the side so if you're interested in just the cooking portion of this video this is pretty much the end of the cooking part I'm done cooking for the most part um, but if you are interested in seeing how I portion out all of the food and how I portion out the chicken and the um, sweet potatoes go ahead and stay tuned but if not, thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I hope you were able to get some new meal prep ideas. I try to keep the meals that I have for um, meal prep easy to make, delicious, and still sort of healthy. Um, that's how I keep my, <laughs> that's how I maintain my weight. And I don't lose too much weight, especially when I'm working out. I hope you found this recipe super useful and helpful um, to help you on your next meal prep day. Um, or just help you you know, figure out something to cook for the next time you're cooking for yourself. Because to me, that's a form of self-care. Um, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and leave me a heart in the comments. And subscribe and like this video for more. Thank you so much. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.